Hello everybody, this is Sir Cheddar and I am going to be making a quick video today on a new design that I've worked on. Actually, I completed this design maybe January, but I haven't been able to produce a video on it because I've been very busy with some personal things going on. However, this I think is a really interesting project because it's a little bit different than the past UE660 CS I've been making in an interesting way. And so the astute observers of you might actually notice that this is not a Topra FC660. This is an MX FC660, which is the FC660M. And if I turn it over, you can see the circuit board there. So what this design represents is me adapting the UE660C to support the UE the FC660M, which can also lead into custom plates and PCBs with this FC660C layout. That is obviously to come in the future though. That's not here yet. Um, and it's also not a finished project yet. You can see here, this is, this is an acrylic backing and this is the USB port. I need to get a cable and then a, um, I forget what it's called, but just like, not a daughter board, but just another extending portion to extend this USB port to the edge of the case so that you can plug it in properly. So that is still um, to come. But I also did um, which some of you might have also noticed is I did modify the bottom panel so that there's less screws. They're a little bit more proportional. Um, there's no screws in this parts now. Um, and also I changed the screws on this. I reduced it by one. And it also gives the angling feet more clean look because before it used to have two gaps for the for the um, for for the screws, but now it's just three screw down points. One, two, three. So I think it gives a better aesthetic as well. And if I can just zoom in here, you can see that it uses additional mounting points. The FC six sixty M plate is different than the F six sixty C in very slight ways, but it's enough to make it so this board will not fit in the standard. UE660C cases, and I had to do some modifications. Um, one was adding those extra screw holes because the plate is a little bit longer. Also, this little channel here where the front of the plate kind of tucks into. Uh, I can open this up and give a bigger view of it here. So this little channel here, kind of where I'm pointing the, the, the angling feet, it goes down into the case pretty deeply. And actually the FC60C goes less deep than the FC660M. So to get this case to be compatible with the M as well, you need to cut down deeper there. And then also I had to remove extra material from here because the USB port, um, usually the the daughter board ribbon cable from the SA660C mounts somewhere around here, whereas this has a USB port more towards the corner, so I needed to cut out extra material here. But overall, um, I got it fitting pretty well on my first try, so I'm super happy about that. And I think that will be just a quick update for today on this FC660M adaption that I'm working on. Um, I have more updates to come and more projects in the works, but I haven't been able to be properly updating them because I've been some quite busy with some personal stuff, but um, stay tuned because hopefully in the next two to three months, I should be um, accelerating my developing process again a little bit more so we can create some cool things. Anyways, thank you very much for, for taking a look at this video and this new design, and I'll see you, both, I'll see you all around.